Welcome to the Red Carpet Movie Review. And today we're going to review Fifty Shades Free. Ladies and gentlemen, live from Hollywood, California, welcome to the Red Carpet Review. Starring the showstopper, Sean Valentino. Also starring Rich Twilling. Today we review Fifty Shades Freed. Live from the red carpet. Hey everybody, Sean Valentino, your host on the Red Carpet Movie Review. And today we're going to review Fifty Shades Free. Now before I even start off reviewing this abomination of a movie, I gotta say that this might be one of the worst films that I've ever seen. And it's almost an embarrassment just to be reviewing this movie because it's really below any type of criticism. And in fact, this might be the worst trilogy in the history of movies. And right now here in Hollywood, the Raspberry Awards just took place, and don't be surprised if you see this film nominated for Worst Picture of 2018. Now this film is directed by James Foley, and it stars Jamie Dornan and Dakota Johnson. Now the story of this film, and I use that term extremely loosely, story of this film revolves around Christian Grey and Anastasia Steele settling into their new life of luxury. And as they settle into this existential and unconventional romantic and physical relationship, ghosts from the past start haunting Christian Grey, especially in the form of the devious Jack Hyde. And what you have here is a potentially interesting premise for a story, but this film is just abysmal. The acting is horrible, the writing is even worse. It's just one of those trilogies that's just a failure on every single level. And it's really disappointing because the character of Christian Grey and the theme of these stories was something I was highly intrigued by. Even though I haven't read the books, I'm really interested in the idea of unconventional relationships as well as existential philosophy. And I thought these films had a lot of potential. The problem really started with the casting because you have two actors here that just have a negative charisma on screen. But when I see Christian Grey and Anna on screen, I just cringe. I just think they might be the worst couple in the history of movies. The movie tries to be titillating and fails miserably. The screenplay makes the writing of porn look like Casablanca. I mean, this is just horrible on every single level, and it's just an embarrassment to watch. If you're going in there for any type of erotic thrill, there's more likely you're gonna get laughter, unintentional laughter, because you're gonna be howling out laughing at parts that aren't even supposed to be funny. And this movie is just so stupid that you're gonna feel like you lost some brain cells just watching it. And I'm feeling like I've lost a few just reviewing it because it's absolutely atrocious. And as an author of a book called The Showstopper Lifestyle that really explores a lot of these philosophies of having unconventional relationships, exploring different types of physical and romantic passions, and not worrying about what other people think and just kind of living life according to your own standards as long as you're consensual and on the same page. But again, the movies have a lot of interesting themes to work with with the original source material. They absolutely obliterate any type of ideas that they could have explored and it just becomes a complete embarrassment on screen. And being the only guy in the theater at the time, I was just embarrassed to be there myself. But again, the name of this movie is Fifty Shades Free, and it's supposed to be the final film of this trilogy. And thankfully, us and the audience are freed from watching any more of these horrible Fifty Shades movies. Because Fifty Shades Freed is one of those films that you put your shades on in the theater, go to sleep, and free yourself from watching one of the worst movies that I've ever seen. And we here at the Red Carpet Review like to rate our movies on a five-star scale. And I'm going to give Fifty Shades Freed no stars on the five-star scale. Just grab your friends, play a drinking game, put the movie on, because this is one of those films that make showgirls look like Gone with the Wind. Thank you so much for watching this red carpet review of Fifty Shades. Now, what did you think about this review? Exactly. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click that like button, press subscribe. We'll see you next week on the red carpet. Thank you for watching the Red Carpet Review. Proceed to click that like button and press subscribe for weekly movie reviews past and present. We'll see you soon on the Red Carpet.